Um, this one's pretty cool just because it was at home. You know, the other ones on the road, we don't have that much support, that much fan base, a sellout crowd. So this one's pretty cool to be able to do it here. Uh, craziest week of my life, probably. Um, but uh, it's built character. Uh, definitely thankful for, for everything I've, I'm going through and having someone like Ruthie by my side and my team by my side and the university and, and everyone uh, supporting me, sending me great messages. So that's, that's really helpful. What do you think will be going on Sunday afternoon? Um, I mean, it's, it's hard to say. It's going to be sad, but I know we have like another six weeks of basketball left. So <laughs> it's not really a goodbye. It's just and hopefully we'll be able to have two more games here. So I think we all understand that, and, and obviously it's sad, but with so much basketball left to play and, and so much left to, to accomplish, hopefully, uh, I think that's what we're really focused on. You really jumped on them tonight, 13-0. They took a timeout. Is that kind of the, the key you want to start off fast like that? Yeah, I mean, we want to, we want to continue out throughout th uh, that throughout the game. Obviously, we kind of had some let-ups and um, – and, and some lulls there in the third quarter and, and even in the fourth. But I think we've we've been starting games off well, and, and that's important. You had assists on the first six or seven baskets or something like that. You seem like you're really trying to get your teammates involved. I, it kind of just happened in, in the flow of the game. Um, I mean, they were we were getting stops on the defensive end and then pushing the ball well in transition. So we were, I was just trying to find open shooters and obviously uh, Ruthie inside. Ruthie, did you guys know Arizona had beaten Stanford, and did that matter? Yeah. Yeah, we heard about it, but um, you know, we were just focused on the game, and we kind of you got lipstick. Your aunt kissed me. Oh, um, <laughs> it was just kind of showed us that you know, any time anything can happen. But yeah, we were happy about that, of course. But we were just really focused on the game. That's her. That's her red. Yeah, I think just at Stanford, my other teammates were in a rhythm and they were killing it. So I'm super proud of them. And tonight it was more inside. So, you know, I just did what I could. It's like KG kind of dropped all you guys and started sitting on the bench for like a minute and a half to go, oh, not anything good. <laughs> <laughs> he said he loved us, you know. No, he did not. <laughs> no, he did not. Let me tell you guys. Um, I mean, obviously, um, we kind of limped home after that one. I think we kind of. Gave it, uh, let him get in the game, let him stay in the game in that third and fourth quarter, um, which is, is, a, is a character flaw, as he would say, and a, a deficiency in our game that we need to improve on. Um, but, I mean, we're fine. Once he left, we were like, hey, well, we still won. So <laughs> we respect him for that, though. Was the interaction a little bit better when you started cutting down the minutes? No, he still hasn't really talked to us. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that goes to show the level of excellence that he holds us to, regardless if it's Washington State or Stanford or Oregon State. He expects us to be on our A game every single game, no matter the opponent. And, you know, that's something that we're all becoming elite in and we're trying to become better. And obviously tonight wasn't a great example of that and, and playing that like that in four quarters, but that's where we're going to continue to get better. And, and having a coach that – we're, you know, we're about to win a three-peat and, and beat a team by, by 30 and still be very upset and not wanting to talk to us is uh, goes to show uh, how competitive he is. Yeah, I mean, even just having it, you know, be alongside Ruthie is crazy. Just coming in our freshman year and seeing where we've turned, where we've turned this around, and then obviously having Satsu and Mignon join us, it's going to be crazy. Um, but really, every piece of the puzzle is just as important, and we can see the emotions that you know our younger teammates are having with us leaving, and, and that goes to show the lasting impact that we're hopefully leaving on them and, and the community that we built here. Like from the fans, and um, I mean, it's it's been amazing the the um, amount of support, and obviously <laughs> being able to see a sellout crowd here for this weekend, and having them travel on the road with us, and um, reaching out to us, social media, text messages, and just everyone everyone feels for us, and um, everyone supporting us throughout this whole thing. So it's huge, and, and it's something that we built here, and, and we're really happy about.
Yeah. Um, I mean, that whole whole unfinished business thing, obviously, after losing um, to Baylor, I was coming back hungry to win another, uh, get to another Final Four, win a national championship. Um, and that's that was really the goal up until, uh, obviously, a month ago. Um, and then you kind of realize that there's so many more things that are important besides that final outcome, and, and nothing's really promised, nothing's guaranteed. And um, what we're building here is is really um, remarkable, and it's something that doesn't happen. It doesn't come across very often on the men's side or the women's side. And so um, just wanting to embrace that and, and really emerge myself into what we built here and being able to being able to be the best person on and off the court that I can and just making sure that, you know, I'm more than just a basketball player. I'm reaching out in the community and, and really doing my best. And so that's really the unfinished business. I mean, playing alongside these people and being able to have the support staff and, and everyone here in the community and, and from the university knowing that, you know, they have my back and the amount of people that I've reached out and, and wanted to help goes to show um, how much they love me and, and this team. And so I think that's the unfinished business, regardless of a win or a loss. Uh, well, I had found out that I was going to get awarded for my 2K, 1K, 1K, and then, I mean, I really didn't want to have it be about me at all. Um, I mean, that's an award like that, it does not get done alone. Um, everyone, every single one of my teammates along this three years and, and going on four deserve a part of that recognition because I could not have done it without them and my coaches uh, putting me in the position to accomplish something like that. And so I wanted to make sure that I could – I could make sure that um, they got some of that light, and, and I, I didn't need it. I didn't want it, and so uh, I thought about doing something like this. Ruthie, yeah, Ruthie, would you like to speak? I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you, though, Rob. I'm tired over here. Thank you, Rob. I have a question for Ruthie. Ruthie, how does it feel like for your family to have three Airbnbs coming for your senior night? Please tell the people here. It's amazing. Um, yeah, like you said, 36 tickets, and they're all from Alaska, so it's just really touching. To sometimes some of them, it's their first time coming and watching me play in person for college, so it just really means a lot. I'm excited to go spend time with them. Uh, one more question, Ruthie. What will you miss <laughs> about me? <laughs> oh wow. Well, this might take a long time, so make it quick. I'm just gonna miss your presence and laughing with you, and just having someone there that I know I can lean on. Vice versa. <laughs> Thank you. I knew someone was going to ask that. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. That. <laughs> um, I mean, the presence of, of Ruthie and how bubbly she is and positive she is. And she really is a light to anyone that, that comes across her. Um, I mean, no one has a bad thing to say about Ruthie. When you hear her laugh, you know she's coming down the hall. Where is it? <laughs> um, and so I'm just going to miss that. But... Um, are you tearing up, Rob? Nope. <laughs> Rob! <laughs> um, but, you know, just, just being able to have her uh, in my corner and obviously the pick and roll. That too. Um, you know, I'm not really uh, into that stuff. Um, not the coaching, the mayor. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think we could do anything together uh, if we wanted to. Um, you know, really, sky's the limit. I think we can conquer anything we set our minds, set our minds to. But who knows? I mean, I don't think we'll be on opposing sides of the basketball court for very long if we are coaching. I think uh, I could be her great assistant coach. You can be with them both of your assistant coach. <laughs> you can do all that stuff. You definitely have to do press conferences. Any more questions for Ruthie? Uh, for Ruthie, you were eight for eight, and then, and then you missed four at the end, but it seemed like you were one of them. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> you were getting knocked down. I mean, how do you handle that? Like, when there's no points, <laughs> and uh, it just doesn't look good. And you missed four. <laughs> I mean, it's always nice when I, you know, miss a shot or – and stuff like that when you hear Coach Graves on the sideline yelling at the ref, like, are you kidding? But, um, you know, it was fun to go eight for eight and you miss four, so. <coughs> I was fouled each time, yeah. So. I miss six, so I can't talk. Damn. In, the, in the spirit of the moment, you're not considered a donut. 
But she gave me the assist back. You see that? Yeah. She knew she shouldn't have even walked down the stairs. Yeah, I know. She knew I was coming. 